Great master, how are you? I um, just want to have a conversation today about why visibility is imperative to sales success. That's what we're going to talk about for a few minutes today and get your Halloween started off on the right uh, right direction. <laughs> um, happy Halloween, everyone. And um, so, yeah, this is something that I see uh, people struggle with. Uh, they feel like they're being visible. They feel like they're showing up. Uh, but the volume and frequency of that is just really not happening at, at the level that's going to make the biggest impact. And uh, and so I just wanted to talk through that today because uh, I I speak about visibility a lot. I speak about, you know, showing up, speaking, getting yourself out there, networking if you have to, um, showing up online, doing Facebook Lives like I am right now. Um, and I think people are like, well, I'm on, I'm on Facebook, I'm on social media, but I'm not getting any clients. Uh, or even you might be speaking and you're not converting, or you may be network crazy, and um, but yet you're not online and you're not really speaking, uh, you know, from the front of the stage. So the the key here is um, first of all, getting visible is imperative to your sales success because people have to know that you exist. And if they don't know that you're in business and that you're ready for hire and all those good things, then uh, of course, how can they hire you, right? How can they even know about you? Um, and so I talk to my clients a lot about the, this conversation around PUR. People buy when they're purring, right? So P-U-R is the acronym that I came up with many years ago. And, uh, and it stands for priority, urgency, and readiness. So You'll keep hearing me say things like this because I think it's a powerful uh, awareness. I think it's a powerful, um, uh, like, uh, but, you know, uh, if what do you, what do I want to call it? Something that you know you can really embody because um, when you when you realize people don't buy until they're purring, until it's priority in their lives, right? Whatever you solve has to be a priority. And then it's urgent enough for them to pull out their credit card, right? And say yes, and they're ready to say yes, then uh, it's just not now, right? And so purring is notice when people buy, it's like, I'm ready, right? Or you've, you've generated for them, you've shown them the urgency, maybe you do a special, maybe you're creating an incentive, um, uh, timing wise, right? Like, you know, that's always a, a possibility, uh, but it's still, even in that vein, if, the, if it's not a priority, in their lives to spend the money on that solution, then even if it feel, even if you do some type of incentive or time sensitive um, offer, then uh, they still may not buy because they're not purring, they're not prioritizing, or they're not ready, right? Uh, even though the urgency might be there for um, even, you know, they may not even prioritize a reduced rate. They'd rather pay the more, uh, the higher rate when you are, when they're ready, right? So, Invisibility, so here's the thing, how this correlates is visibility is um, number one about showing up, right? It's number one is about being seen um, uh, frequently and, uh, and of course consistently, right? I talk about that a lot. Marketing in, uh, is visibility and visibility can lead to leads <laughs> and it can also lead to the conversations that lead to the sale. Um, and so there's phases of buying that occur. And if we aren't visible consistently and frequently, then you may not be moving your people, your community, your network, your email list, your people that are watching you, right? Um, your audience, you're, you may not be moving them through the phases. And so number one, the phase A is aware. And then number two is consider. And then number three is buy. So let's go look at number one. So number one is aware. So if you aren't consistent in your visibility and showing up and really staying in offline and online strategies frequently enough, then they're not even aware that you exist. They don't even know that you, how they, how you help them or could help them. And so awareness um, is step one. And, uh, and so you got to keep showing up. And then number two is consider. Uh, and so what that means is after they've seen you enough and after they've basically you're building that trust like no factor, then number two sh starts to happen, which then they start to consider, well, maybe this person can help me. Maybe this product that they're offering can solve my problem. 
right? And so then there's a consideration happening uh, that they start to move into. And that's after they've been aware of you and usually aware of you long enough so that they can trust, like, know you <laughs> or like, no trust, whatever the order is. And then, uh, and then step three is buy. So it's the ACB, <laughs> not ABCs, but close enough. And so the B, of course, they buy. Once they have come, come through the awareness phase, they've considered it, they're purring, right? That's why the purr is part of this process. And now they're ready to buy. And, and so what are you doing in your business, in your weekly schedule to imp implement your marketing mix? And when I say a marketing mix, I always recommend, especially um, you know, if you're getting your business off the ground or what have you, or you're in that launch or hustle phase, that kind of beginning phase of your business, is you focus on five marketing mix um, activities. And, and so um, number one, uh, five simultaneously should cover the bases. So you can be speaking, which I think is the fastest path to cash. Uh, you can be networking and getting seen and getting in conversations with people right away. And then you can be online doing things like this, growing a Facebook community, doing trainings um, uh, and, I, and showing up visibly online as well as offline. So the mix is a mix of both. Um, not just one or the other. And I think a lot of us like to hang out online because it feels safer. It doesn't feel as vulnerable. Um, I'm on social media. I'm po posting and commenting. I'm putting content out there and yet there's no clients. And so a lot of times for me, social media is about awareness. Um, and then of course, you guys are in this group with me. If you're in my brave entrepreneur group, um, uh, then you're consider starting to consider what maybe I can do for you on a, in a bigger way. Uh, and some of you may just enjoy the, the community and that's okay too. Um, but then there's going to be some of you, it, which is true for me. There's some of you that have stepped into the buy phase and you've bought my Brave Speaker program. And so you can learn how to speak and monetize, or you've stepped into the high level, which is the Beyond Brave which is amazing. Now we're really scaling your business and getting you, you know, what you want and meeting your goals. So whatever it is that um, you, you know, you're doing in your business and you're not getting enough traction, I would, I would probably say it's because there's not enough visibility. So why is visibility so imperative to sales success? If you don't have it, you will not have sales. They have to know that they have to know that you exist. They have to see that you're, you know, you're, you're out there and you're making waves and you're showing up and you're, you know, you've got something to offer. And the more that you, you show up, the more people see you, the more they're going to trust you, the more they're going to know you, the more they're going to like you um, uh, and move forward. So I'd love to know what your thoughts are. I'd love to know what um, you, where you get stuck in this process. So when I speak about marketing mix, when I speak about, um, sales, when I speak about getting visible offline, like speaking or networking or something like that, or even being online, what is it that gets you stuck? And, uh, and please put the comments there. I'm going to check comments here in a minute and see if any of you guys are with me. Um, I'm using zoom, so I don't necessarily see all your comments, uh, in the moment. I have to come out of, out of where I am and come check it out. So please leave your comments. And if you're here on the, in the replay, um, yay, uh, hit hashtag replay in the comments so that I know you are watching and listening and checking this out. And, and so I just want to tell you a little story um, about me. And, uh, and, you know, a couple years ago, I um, actually, so just so you, I don't know how, many, how much of my story you know. So first of all, I'm, I've been an entrepreneur for 12 years. And the first five, six years, I was a partner in my a business with my husband. We did web graphic design services, uh, done for you services. And, uh, and so all I really knew, and of course, where I got comfortable, that's the other thing. Maybe I knew about other options, but I got comfortable networking, 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 networking. Um, I was like a networking junkie. And so I, um, I went to network meetings at least like two or three times a week. And it was great. It built my business. Um, certainly it took it from, you know, a low, low five figures up to a uh, higher five figures. And it, and it, and it got right under that six figure mark. And so it, like, even in that fifth year, I was like, what is going to have to happen in order for us to, you know, consistently get over the six figure mark. 
And, and so what I started to see is that I wasn't speaking. I was online, but I really wasn't um, engaging enough. Like I wasn't, I mean, I just, what I was like present. I had profiles, I had, you know, some activity, but it wasn't, um, I wasn't very intentional around it. So a couple of things happened. Number one, I made a new decision called, all right, I'm done with this. I got to get, I got to get this figured out. And I know speaking would position me and leverage my time. And I don't have to sit here and network all the time. I could speak in front of 20, 30 people. And, um, and yet I'm terrified. I'm like, what, how, how's that going to happen? <laughs> I'm nervous as, as it is. However, I was like, I got to do this. I got to figure it out. And, uh, and so I threw myself into speaking in 2013 for the first time, really. And after networking, networking, networking for like five years. And uh, that visibility was game changing. I had a 65% increase in my first year and uh, in revenue. And I completely went over the six figure mark. Um, and, and so, and then I rebranded, I re repositioned myself as a brand strategist and, um, and started doing some more brand coaching and things like that. So um, bottom line is speaking was the marketing mix that I hadn't add, I hadn't put in my mix and the, or it was the strategy that I hadn't put in my mix. And then I started doing that and things really started to change. Um, and so I had to figure it out. I had to figure out, I mean, and, I, and my conversion sucked at the beginning. Um, uh, it just did because I didn't know what I was really doing, but I was figuring it out and I was modeling and watching other people that looked like they were getting some success. Right. And, you know, and I had my coach it and, you know, we were working through some of the details. So eventually I got things figured out. I even hired, you know, some invested in some training around it. And the fun part is, is now I have figured out how to go from like 10% conversion out of a room into like 50 to 75% conversion. Um, and then a portion of those move into my clientele. So I may offer something complimentary or low cost or something like that. And I can convert consistently at those higher rates uh, because there's a system, there's a structure and a system to that talk. Um, so if you guys want more information about that, you, uh, you can actually join me on um, a free webinar on Friday. I'm going to be live on Friday. Uh, and that information will be posted after this, uh, this goes um, live. Uh, after I'm done with this live, uh, then we'll, I'll post a, a, an inf some information where you can register and all that. So bottom line is the question becomes, what are you doing or what are you not doing? And what has you stuck? Right. Um, I know that getting visible at a high level, uh, especially with speaking and leveraging myself and getting in front of audiences and such, um, completely catapulted and game changed my business. And um, and then I started putting more intention around social media at the same time. I actually hired a VA for the first time and uh, and said, OK, I need help because I'm busy. And I need help getting consistent and, you know, and up leveling my social media. And that was what I committed to um, in those first couple of years. And now I do things that, you know, in different scale. And I, you know, and now I'm, you know, I'm generating um, more money every year and all of that. And so it's a matter of where you are in your business. What are you focusing on? And do you have a marketing mix? Because if you're only on social media, trust me, it's going to move like molasses. You know, it's going to be a slower process than if you mix, mix that with some offline strategies, especially to get some traction in your business. And depending on where you are in your business, like I talk about the vital pace, um, and I may have to reintroduce that to you guys because a lot of you guys are new to the, to the group here, uh, but figuring out where you are in your business is, is so vital <laughs> to figuring out where you should, what, you know, it's kind of like what strategies you, you should be implementing on, um, in, I'm so tongue tied today, uh, strategies that you should be implementing based on the phase of your business so that you can escalate, um, where you are. So, um, please take, take a minute, give me a note, let me know you're here, uh, and hit the hashtag replay. If you watch this on replay and share with me, what has you stuck? Because the more I know about what you don't know, or you need support around, the more I can speak to that. Um, and you guys are just so impressive. I mean, I'm loving what I'm hearing and, and all the wins and the brave wins that you share. Uh, so keep doing that as well. Uh, but also let me know where you need support. 
Um, the other thing I want to leave you with is um, I am actually going to offer some of you. Uh, I'm looking for five coaches. Okay. Coaches or consultants. I'm looking for five coaches and consultants to support over the next 90 days um, in a very uh, kind of intensive private mentorship. Uh, and it's going to take some investment and uh, time, but I also know that it can also create um, triple the return of what you would invest. So if you're interested in that, hit up, hit me up with a hashtag me or, ha or just hit me in the private message something to let me know that you want more information because uh, I have a limited space of five and it's, um, we're going to get started, you know, pretty quickly and it is going to be private mentorship. Um, but it's, you know, just kind of a, I've never done this before, meaning I've never offered it this way. Um, like I said, I have masterminds and things like that, but this is a special opportunity for some of you that are coaches or consultants that really want to, um, like accelerate your, um, your results. So let me know if you're interested, um, please, you know, reach out to me, uh, right away. Uh, like I said, those speed <laughs> spaces, um, I need to go like to start over today. Right. <laughs> like it's Halloween. Maybe that's the problem. I'm like tongue tied. Um, I just have a limited amount of spaces and, uh, would love to talk to you if you are absolutely interested and get you, get you started. So, um, all right, have a, an amazing day. Actually, let me check in. Um, hey, Serena. Hey, Valerie. Um, love you. I'm so glad to see you. Uh, let me see if I can do this without it uh, playing in the background. Um, it just disappeared. Hold on a second. I just want to check your comments and see if there's anything I need to know right now <laughs> so I can help you guys. Um, okay, where's the live? Okay. Uh, just a couple comments, a couple of you live. Great. So good to have you here. So again, if you are on the replay, um, please make sure to hit hashtag replay so I can speak to you. And then I always come back to the, to the thread and, uh, and answer your questions and such. So I love you guys. Thank you for being here. And, uh, you guys have an amazing Halloween, uh, October 31st. Here we go. Uh, and I will see you soon. I'll talk to you later. Oopsie. <laughs> Bye.